My name is Aishwarya Venkatesh. I'm a senior scientist and project leader here at CSIR CCMB. Our lab is focused on understanding from a molecular perspective how the nervous system is wired during development and following injuries. Why is this important? Uh, why should you care? The linchpin to our human experience is our ability to sense and respond to stimulus. Pretty much everything you do on a daily basis, walking, running, talking, uh, moving, listening to me, breathing, all of this is possible because of back and forth communication in the nervous system between the brain and the rest of the body. So how is this achieved? The major cell type of the brain, neurons, they always stay put in the cortex, they're always fixed here. They send their messages through these thin cables called axons, which physically connect the brain and the rest of the body. So for all these activities that I mentioned before, for that to properly happen, axons are ferrying signals back and forth between the brain and the body. So you can um, imagine that intact nervous system function is dependent on these intact axons. What happens if there's an injury, right? Um, you must have heard of patients with paralysis, right? So what happens in such cases is the axons get severed, they get injured. And while young neurons, pretty much embryonic and very, very early postnatal neurons are remarkably good at regeneration and repair, older neurons in mammals fail to do this. So what happens is there's permanent irreversible damage. And, it, and like I said, it has a huge clinical burden. So in the lab, we are interested in understanding how axon growth is coordinated at a molecular level during development, learn from that, and try to reconstruct the same pathways in an injured neuron to improve regenerative outcomes. We use mice as the model system, and spinal cord injury is our primary model of injury in the lab. To answer these questions, we use a combinatorial approach in the lab that includes bioinformatics, molecular techniques like cloning, functional genomics, producing fluorescent viral vectors for gene delivery, in vivo mouse models of injury, and machine learning based behavioral assessments. As far as lab culture goes, we are an eclectic mix of people. We have a postdoc, two PhD students, project trainees, project associates, desities. We all come from different backgrounds and levels of experience, but we share one thing in common. We're all curious, driven, and are always working together towards our shared goal of understanding axon growth and regeneration in the nervous system. We are excited about the progress we've made so far and are looking forward to what the future holds. If you're a motivated, curious individual who enjoys working in a hierarchy-free environment, our lab might be a good fit for you. We are always looking for passionate people to join our expanding crew and we believe that diversity is our strength. Do check out our lab website for more details and thank you.